Hey guys, uh, this is definitely going to be coming out as a premiere because it is currently 11.06 where I am. But um, I wanted to talk about this because I've gotten this question a few times at work from co-workers and I just want to make a video on this. And that is the fact that I've been asked many times if I am ever going to watch The Iron Claw, the Von Erich or the movie about the Von Erich family, and this is my answer. No, I will not be watching that movie. And to some people, that is, to some co-workers that have asked me that, that actually shocked them, being that I am a humongous wrestling fan, and they would think a movie based on one of the best and most infamous wrestling families, especially in Texas, they go to watch it. Here's the thing. I know the story of the Von Erichs. I have watched so many times of documentary or even I have a DVD called The Ri the Tri the The Triumph and Tragedy of WCCW World Class Championship Wrestling, which is the territorium which the majority of the Von Erics worked in. I have seen what happens. I've seen the love this family has for each other. I've heard the stories of the love this family had for each other. And I also heard of what happened with this family with David saying that he's fine when he is sick and he should not have been traveling and fucking dies. I heard the tales of Kerry Von Erich and the demons he had and how he fucking died. The youngest brother whose name escapes me who had a like a brittle bone disease or something where he couldn't wrestle and be with his brothers in the ring drove into the woods and blew his brains out knowing that Kevin is the last one there's another one I recall him. there's David Kerry Kevin this one and there's one other Von Eric who am I thinking who am I forgetting I know they're dead I can't remember the other the fifth one I'm sorry yeah I know this story of the Von Erics I've seen the story of the Von Erics so I don't want to go into this movie and feel the fire that this family had for professional wrestling and fall in love with these these guys these characters David Kevin Carrie the other <laughs> the only ones I can remember because Carrie and Kevin are the ones you could play in the get in 2k18 and David is the one they talked about a lot in the the DVD of WCCW I can't remember the other two and I hate that about myself but I don't want to feel that heart-wrenching sadness again of seeing this family go from five brothers to one brother and his two sons Marshall and Ross Von Erich who thank God are keeping that family name alive in Ring of Honor and in AEW. I know a lot of people, this is the video that's going to be coming out uh, later today on Saturday, which is where this video will be posted, Saturday, where I'm getting sick of, pe of the fans complaining about AEW and Ring of Honor. So I, and I get, don't get me wrong, I understand why some fans will hate it. But I don't call them fans more. You'll hear about more of this uh, later today. Yeah, I just wanted to give this video because I wanted to talk that I will never, ever watch The Iron Claw. This is in the same way that uh, Jake the Snake Roberts has said he will never watch the documentary they made about Andre. Just too sad, man. That's just too sad. I do not want to see a beloved family like the Von Erics go and see that story again. It's too sad, god damn it. It's just too sad. So just uh, I just want to give a video on the Iron Claw cuz I just needed to get that out why I will never be watching that fucking movie. I'm not going to hate it. I do not hate that this movie is made. I think it is a beautiful movie capturing the feel of that era of pro wrestling around the Von Erichs. Hell, the people who are playing the Von Erichs look so much like the Von Erichs. I just, myself, I'm not going to see it. If you're a wrestling fan and you do see this, or if you're a, not a wrestling fan and this is a sad and dark introduction to the art of pro wrestling, hope you enjoyed this movie. I, I can guarantee you fucking got, I won't say you cried, but I can at least 
guarantee almost everyone that has seen this fucking movie has gotten misty-eyed. Have a good one. See you later today.